This video is going to describe our new pivot strength daily, weekly, and monthly trends. Most of our traders are familiar with our existing daily, weekly, monthly trend. If you hit daily trend, weekly trend, and monthly trend, it adds these to your chart and then it shows whatever the current trend strength is for the past bars and then it's very accurate going forward. There's no way to line that up on past bars. So with the new tools, they also show you the daily trend, weekly trend, and monthly trend, but they also have the benefit of also showing you the historical strength or weakness on a bar-by-bar -bar basis for whatever the daily, weekly, and monthly trend was. So I will add these underneath it so you can see how the new tool compares to the existing ones. Pivot score daily, weekly, and monthly. So now you can see instead of the old one, which is on top, you don't know what it looked like in the past, but with this you do. The daily trend shifted up here at this point. If you have bought that breakout, you can see it shifted up 20 pips. The daily trend was still strong, so you might have decided to buy this little pullback here and so forth. Let's show this on a couple other uh, charts, and then I'll also show you it on the range charts, and also this is a new component and in, built into our new currency meter. There's the pound dollar. You can see when you add it to your chart, the daily, weekly, monthly before at, at this time right here is up, and so we color code the past. However, at the time today, the daily trend was down until about pretty much right here, as you can see, and then it shifted up a little bit before the breakout, and you would have been looking to buy these. If there's basically a, a flat trend, which means there's no trend up or down, uh, I color code it with basically black so it doesn't stand out at all and I also with the new one have a lighter shade of pink here signifying a downtrend but very mild downtrend. I'm going to remove the older tools and then I'm going to show you how it works even on range charts and tick charts. I want to see a six pips per bar range chart, hit 6R, hit enter, and this is going to download the tick data. And you can see with, with the range chart here, it also shows the historical strength or weakness on a range chart, or if you have a tick chart, it shows you historically what it would have been. Now we have to kind of approximate it, but it's usually accurate to within one minute of whatever the trend strength looked like. We actually download one minute data and simulate uh, this going back. It's very, very similar. If you leave it running overnight, hit refresh, you will see virtually 98% identical uh, readings here. And uh, you can also scroll back and look at it the previous day. Notice the daily, weekly, monthly all shifted down at this point. Start looking for sell, boom, boom you know, quite a few pips of the downside, big explosion up here, didn't even change the daily trend back to up, it stayed down, you look to sell that, you made money, you sell it, you make money, uh, you might have sold this, broke even, sold this, made a few pips, and then trend strength shifted up as you saw. One of the major benefits of this new pivot score daily, weekly, monthly is that it also can be used on our currency meter. If you start trading at 7 or 8 Eastern Time, New York Time, and you bring up our currency meter, in the past, like you saw at the beginning of this video, it would take whatever the live reading is and, and color code the past bars the same way because it was not accurate. It was not possible to have accuracy going back based on the math behind that daily, weekly, monthly trend. This one, however, can be made pretty much 95, 98% accurate going back back and therefore we do. I can prove that right now by just reloading one of these charts right here and you can see it pretty much was a, it's identical to what uh, it looked like. You know the uptrend kind of started to slow then went down right here at one. If you were wanting to trade 
uh, this currency at one o'clock. You can see the pound was strong on all time frames. So you would want to buy the pound versus a weak dollar uh, right around one o'clock. Maybe bring this chart up. We'll scroll this back and look. Here's one o'clock. This is kind of going sideways. And guess what? It broke out a little bit after one and went from 58.80 all the way up to my Fibonacci profit target level up here around 30. Went up 50 pips. You notice how our intelligent drilling stop kept you in there for the entire way. So this is the new pivot score daily, weekly, monthly. I think you will very much like it. Uh, it's as good in the worst case scenario as our older tools and under many circumstances is vastly superior. It not only shows the trend, whether it's up or down, but also the intensity of the trend. Whereas our older daily, weekly, monthly trends just kind of illustrated the percentage of currencies going up or down and did not take the intensity of those trends into a fact. They didn't factor in the intensity of those trends. The new tool does. And for that, I personally think it's superior. It's something I've been using and trading with over the last two months. And now that I've gone back to working on the software, adding new features, I wanted to get it out to everybody.